oh boy, when did I start collecting? I, I don't know that I've ever stopped collecting. Uh, as a boy, uh, Dad was a every weekend prospector. And as a young boy, I started going out on the prospecting things with him uh, and picking up rocks and uh, started with a rock collection, I guess. And all through high school, uh, was a member of the Gem and Mineral Society. And uh, so, like I say, I've, I've always collected one thing or another, uh, just it's a disease, as you, as you well know. <laughs>
They all want the finest, which I understand. But the finest is not necessarily the most representative of the people. Use it to educate. You know, that, that's always been my goal in this, is to educate. And if you can work with other departments and get classes set up, uh, great. Uh, you know, this is what I would, would hope to do. Besides, you know, show it and educate the public, but also try to get students involved in it and uh, develop interest in Africa and find out if we can't get something going now that may help Africa advance in the future. You know, Africa's in bad shape and it needs a lot of help. And uh, if this can help sometime in the future uh, to make a better country out of the continent, uh, the whole continent, all of the countries that are there, all 47 or 48 of them, uh, that's a goal that's worth shooting for as far as I'm concerned. I've been a very lucky man. I've gone places and done things that most people haven't. Uh, I've had opportunities to, to travel and see and do that uh, I've worked all over the western United States laying out power lines, uh, everything out of Glen Canyon, Flaming Gorge, Kerr County, Blue Mesa, all of the major dams in the western United States. Uh, I had an opportunity to work and travel all over Afghanistan and, and meet the wonderful people there. In fact, Afghanistan is probably one of my favorite places in the world, and the problems there today are, are terrible, but uh, I lived in the southeastern part, or southwestern part of the country, Lashkargah, the ancient city of Bost, and was able to travel into the Hamun Basin eight times and see the ruins, uh, you know, just Thousands of them. Uh, the Hamun Basin is nothing but ruins. Uh, about 2,000 square miles of nothing but ruins. And uh, travel Bamiyan and all the other places and an opportunity to work and travel all over Africa. What more could you ask for in this life? You know, it, it's just a great thing to do.